Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hopefully. Um, uh, thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Willow and Tony, for your comments. Um, and that's. Uh, Hopefully the audio is not too bad for you. We have problems at upload speed. It's why we were late starting and also uh, why you may have glitchy video. In fact, I think you do have glitchy video. We'll try and sort that out for next time. Um, so the second half, I'm going to be doing some piano music and some SARS music as the last concert. Um, I'm going to say a little bit about that been playing for the longest of any of my continuous instruments and I started playing in a much more meditative way in 1976 and um, with the encouragement and help of my friend Ron Waldegar and I reached a point where it, re it was on a different level I wasn't simply learning about the, the craft and the structure it was more to do with presence and very deep sights and uh, I could have sworn the first time I made that breakthrough there was an angel standing over me about nine feet tall helping guide me to the, the right um, uh, form of music. So it, since the 1970s I must have recorded 4,000 improvisations. If you, those of you are interested you can actually have a lot of these. Um, so I have a, a 56 album DVD or you can download them, which I can make available free today if you like. Just let me know. Um, yeah. Excuse me, I'm a little bit <laughs> exhausted after all this drama. Uh, shouldn't take it in my stride, I guess. I can't see any. Ah, oh, we can. Some comments here. See if I can see the comments. Is this? Let's see if this is. Can't quite see the screen. VWJ one two three. I'm not sure who that is. Um, and, um, contact me through my website if you can't. If you don't have any other way of getting hold of me, lawrenceball.org. Part of my work since the 1970s. I mean, I've I've done a lot of music for. Um, scored instruments, orchestral music and uh, chamber music, as well as a lot of electronic and computer music. Um, and uh, quite a lot available and even more unavailable, sadly. <laughs> um, Who, who is VWJ123? You don't have one, two. <laughs> oh. VWJ. Victoria Wilson James. <laughs> Hi there. That's oh, nice you came. Um, yeah, there's just some notes here that, uh, for me, um, a bubbling reservoir. I can sit down at the piano. It's actually more comfortable now to play spontaneously than any other way. I do want to compose uh, in a more of a formal fashion. Um, while I while we have this interval, I have to set up the, the mics for the second half. So if you excuse me, I'll, I'll do that while I'm talking. To be a bit further away from the piano, because I don't want you guys to see me and the piano. Uh, I think that should work. Let's see now. Not bad. Water in here. Why is it stuck? Yeah. Um, it's a bit informal today. Almost like when people say technical things helpful technical things they don't say anything about the music it's very nice of them but it doesn't doesn't really cut the mustard <laughs> okay 
Um, where are we now? I have to stand in a funny position. The SARS, let me talk about the SARS for a bit. Um, I involved with a, a very wonderful um, Sufi group in the 70s called Bishara, started by a Turkish man. Um, a cup of tea, I've, I've asked not to have a cup of tea today because I spilled the last one. <laughs> he, uh, the SARS started out playing to uh, meditation groups in Bishara, small group of musicians. Funnily enough, the group that, I, that played with me, I played SARS and um, Stephen Hurtenstein and Alan Williams, soprano saxophones, both of them played, both played soprano saxophones. And they each went on to translate the the major critics who were studied the most at Bashar, namely uh, Ibn Arabi, of the 12th and 13th century, and uh, Jin Rumi, who is his uh, spiritual grandson, who, um, and they had a common link in Sadruddin Akhanavi, who was a teacher, Rumi, and also Arabi's stepson. But... Uh, Bashar, I was involved with for several years and about the these um, teachings, which are quite wonderful. Rumi, everybody knows, I think, is the most popular poet in America now. It's ironic that he's Iranian, I should say. But Alan went on to translate the first complete translation of a Rumi Mathnawi volume um, since 1920s, and is hoping to finish all of them. And Stephen has been a great uh, Ibn Arabi scholar and translator. So it's Rather wonderful with these two uh, arch translators of Gnostic writings. Uh, do feel free to comment if you like. Um, no one has gone. The, the, the worst comment is one you don't make. <laughs> Only kidding. Um, the SARS originated through my involvement with Bashara. I bought my first SARS in Konya, which is the Rumi's place he uh, finished teaching, and to him there. And um, so uh, the SARS very much is, is sort of helps me link my music to um, tradition and that music. The music was very inspiring to me. The soaring Mevlevi Dervish music is quite without precedent in its uh, wonderful heart opening quality. And later, my colleague James D'Angelo, um, who I met some 30 years ago, who had done many comedy, share a common interest in the composer Jean Catois the late composer Jean Catoir. Uh, he also taught um, Mevlevi Turney, the study society, for many years. So I have this strong Sufi uh, thread running through my uh, music and my spirituality. And uh, so that's the beginning of the story of the Sars. I bought it from a man who made it, and we had a jam session in his shop, which was quite wonderful. And I began to see that uh, a lot of what he played had quarter tones, which I've never really, um, I must say, uh, properly, although I have experimented. Uh, Arabic and Turkish systems have quarter tones, which um, they have this very finely. Even the singers can sing beautifully in the, uh, these wonderful modes that we couldn't possibly play on the piano. About half of the Arabic and Turkish modes are um, not renderable on a semitone system. Anyway, back to the SARS. The SARS was um, uh, really um, my first meditation instrument, and which led to the piano um, three years later. But I wrote a lot of music for the SARS, and in fact, proper compositions, about 50 of them were written in the mid-70s for the SARS, and I'm going to be playing some of them at the end of the concert. Probably... Um, <laughs> Willow is my most, um, I hope I have reciprocated over the years, my most uh, devoted attendee of, of concerts. I think we first started attending each other's in the late 70s, and we continue to this day attending each other's events. So uh, a great tribute. In fact, I'll dedicate this uh, this concert to Willow for her uh, wonderful Rookley and otherwise with myself. Okay, I think it's time to play you some piano music.
Oh, thank you. Um, a lot of fun to play for you. Lovely to fan across the, the world. Oh, is it cut off? No. I don't know. It says still recorded. I'm so not sure if you can hear me. Anyway, hopefully you can. Um, I like to improvise at the piano. And um, it's not always perfect. It's better to have a rest occasionally. <laughs> um, but uh, that's been a huge, huge um, factor in my music. Um, improvising, I always do it as a sort of a uh, way to recharge. Also, it's been very helpful at recovering me from a severe depletion at times, which of course is severe depletion at times, which of course is as much psychological as anything else in this life, where we are beset by energy draining from all sides sometimes. And uh, also, yes. So I'm going to set up for this saws and you can play for a short while. stage hands running around would be easier but to somehow it just takes away the down arm feeling of the whole thing.
quarter wheel was the first piece I was in the summer of 1973. I think I had the size, well, this is my second one by the way, the first one is now, was given to a friend of mine who I've lost touch with. Um, but this one was, uh, the first one got damaged a little bit, so I decided I knew a better one. And as it happened, um, the person I asked who was going to Istanbul knew a derby, did not know, he did, and was able to choose this for me. You know, shame to say, I only paid fifty pounds for this. Probably worth a lot more than buying one here. Well, I'm not ashamed to say it was a bargain. Um, so, how lovely. Um, Stuck in a dot. Hmm. I can't remember how it goes. I'm a bit tired. I just give in. Uh, stepping and dancing um, again from the 1970s and uh, all the Sars music I wrote from memory I never I think I've ever committed anything to, to manuscript although there was some there's an arrangement of a piece for um, soprano and viola that used water wheel which you heard earlier this was performed by Rosie Butler in uh, 2000 at my festival <coughs> Okay, um, one last piece, I think. This is probably one of my favorites, Song of the Rose. Mm -hmm. 